Hey, what's up guys? Tommy Grammer here. Tonight I'm working with this little Rottweiler puppy. By far one of my favorite breeds to work with. Um, she was dropped off at my training school last week and I've been doing some foundation work with her. And I thought I'd do a video showing you guys how I work with a young puppy at 13 weeks old. But what I'm going to be doing tonight is just running her through some basic obedience cues. I'm going to introduce some nail clippers. I'm also going to introduce a dog toy. Hopefully you can take home some of these tips and implement them with your own puppy. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, let's get started. Um, so I have a few things here that I'm going to be working with with Bailey here. I've got just a soft dog toy here. I have, if I can get them out, some nail clippers in my pocket that are currently jammed in my pocket. There we go, some nail clippers which luckily right now she doesn't don't mean anything to her so I can go ahead and get her feeling good about these. And then I have some of her kibble in my training pouch. All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and start doing is I'm gonna put the toys and the nail clippers away at first and I'm going to be working with food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just run her through some, some basic obedience cues like sit and lay down and stay. Now, I have been working with her a little bit before, so she does know some of these cues. So right now, I'll go ahead and show you. Bailey, down. What a good girl. And I'm gonna give her some food. Good girl. Okay. Now, if your puppy makes mistakes, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. You have all the time in the world to be correcting your dog for mistakes down the road. At this point, if a puppy makes a mistake, all I do is just mark it and try to let the puppy know that they've done something wrong by marking it, but I don't physically correct the puppy or anything like that. I want them to know that training is fun and it's okay to make a mistake. Bailey, place. What a good girl. Good girl. Okay. Good. Sit. Good. Notice also that I'm feeding often, all right? But you don't have to be shy about giving your dog plenty of food right now. Also, I'm using her kibble anyway, so I would be giving it to her. Might as well make her work, work for it. What a good girl. Sit. Now if your puppy doesn't know these cues, then what you want to be doing is you want to just start luring them into position. So what I would start doing with a puppy that didn't know how to sit or lay down or go to a place, I would go real slow with them. Come here, girl. I do things like luring her into sit position, luring her into the down position. Good. And luring her in onto a place. Good. Good girl. Bailey, calm. Good girl. So it's real basic, guys. Um, don't try to get ahead of yourself. Do things like down. Good girl. Okay. Once we put some of those obedience cues and we get going with those, let's start to introduce some other things. Things like nail clippers, something that most adult dogs really hate seeing. So if you have a puppy, you can go ahead and start introducing them now. So I may do things like picking up that paw, touching the nail, the clippers. What a good girl. What a good dog. And then I'm feeding. Grab that paw, touch the nail to the clippers. What a good girl. Good girl. Very nice. Look at that. What a good girl. Picking up the paw, nail to the clippers. What a good girl. So I'm doing these kind of things that are going to prepare the dog, prepare the puppy for how to be a dog and how to be a good dog once she gets older. Pick up the paw, touch the nail to the clippers. What a good girl. Now let's do some bite work. Puppies love to bite on things. So what you're gonna to wanna to do right now with a young puppy is teach them how to give things to you. So I'm gonna let this puppy get really excited about the toy. Let her chew on it and bite it. Now watch this. I'm gonna say drop. She doesn't know what drop means, so she holds on. I'm gonna offer some food. Good girl. What a good girl. Good. You're excited again. Let her bite it. Little tug. Drop. Good girl, give her some food. Very nice. Get the toy again. Good girl. Drop. Good girl. And we're gonna end with just letting her have the toy. What a good girl, while I hold her to show her that I can hold you and it doesn't mean necessarily that I'm taking things away from you always. Good girl. 
All right, what maybe a four minute session, but I've taught her a lot of things already. One, that doing things like sit and lay down, that's fun for you. I've taught her that nail clippers are not scary, so that later on when we actually do need to clip the dog's nails, that she has a positive association of those nail clippers. Um, also taught her that giving thanks to me is a good thing because I've been taking the toy, giving her food, and then giving her back the toy. So these are just a few things that you can go ahead and start implementing with your puppy, and I will see you in another video.